afternoon and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the graduating class of 2020. I would like to respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather is in traditional Mi'kmaq territory and we acknowledge with respect the diverse histories and cultures of all the Mi'kmaq people. Today is a day that we recognize the 28 graduating students that worked so very hard to walk across the stage this afternoon. To say that this class had its ups and downs would be an understatement. This class was born during 9-11. Their first year of high school saw them dealing with work to rule. And their graduating year was interrupted due to the coronavirus. Despite everything this group has been through, they persevered through it all and are ready for whatever life tries to throw at them next. It is quite an honor to be able to celebrate the accomplishments of these young men and women today. I would now ask that everybody please stand for the playing of our national anthem. upon Donnie Sims, the principal of Cabot Education Center, to deliver a message to the graduates. Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to be able to address the graduating class of 2020 this afternoon. This is a very important day for the 28 young men and women that will walk across the stage today. Today, you will receive one of the most important pieces of paper that you will ever receive. It is an, on an ongoing joke that on this day, I would be presenting you with your eviction notice from Cabot Education Center. But this piece of paper that you will receive today is much more than an eviction notice. This piece of paper represents 13 years of hard work. It represents the closing of one chapter of your life and the beginning of another. Most importantly, it represents opportunity. I know some of you have plans to continue your education either at university, NSCC, or at some other educational institution. Some of you are going right into the workforce, and some of you are not quite sure what you're going to do yet, and that is fine as well. But know that whatever you decide to do, that the last 13 years has prepared you for it. Respect this piece of paper, for as for receiving it, it was no easy feast. You have a lot of people to thank for, for you being here tonight. Your teachers don't seek praise, but know they are proud of you and look forward to seeing what you will do in the future. Your friends have also contributed to you walking across this stage this afternoon. Most of them will be walking across the stage this afternoon with you. They have been with you through the good times and the bad. They helped you with the assignments, studying for tests or exams, and they have been here to listen to you when you needed someone to hear you out. These are a special group of people. Please remember them after you leave here today and stay in touch with them. Last, but certainly not least, thank your parents. Your parents have supported you, they've guided you, and they've never given up on you. They're your best advocates and have been beside you, beside you every step of the way. This is much a special day for them as it is for you. Now, to you, the graduates. 
I know this is not what you expected your graduating year would look like, but I hope you see that this is just another challenge that you had to endure. Challenges are learning opportunities, and how you deal with these challenges show the type of person that you are. I hope that when you leave Cabot today, that you can remember the positive things that happened, are grateful to have had a small school to learn and grow in. And please, always remember where you came from. You were fortunate to grow up in small communities where everybody knew you and looked out for you. I know there were times when you may have felt that it was a burden growing up in these small communities. But when we talk to anybody who has moved away, they always say there is no place like home. So remember your roots. So this is it. The end result of 13 years of hard work, dedication, growing friendships, and reasons we are here today. In spite of any obstacles you may have faced along the way, the end result is you, the graduating class of 2020. How proud we are of the successes you have made with the opportunities you were offered. Congratulations. May you always lead by example, work hard, and play straight. May your successes be many and your challenges be few and far between. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in your years ahead. It has been an honor and privilege watching you progress and, su and your success. It may be the end of your high school education path, but every end has a new beginning. I want to wish each and every one of you success in whichever direction your life takes you. In closing, I would like to leave you with a quote from Gandhi. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. This is your day, graduates. Please enjoy us. Thank you. At this time, I would like to present the Lieutenant Governor Medals. Awarded to two grade 11 students who have demonstrated qualities of leadership and service in the community and community. Commandable performance in the courses in which they are enrolled. Today I would like to present this award to Precious McKinnon. Precious is an exceptional student, an active community volunteer, and a zealous athlete. She is an honor student and takes great pride in her academics. She is, a number, she is a member of the Cabot running team and has competed at numerous NSAF provincial cross country running championships as well as many regional events. She is a former member of the Nova Scotia cross country ski team competing, competing both provincially and nationally. She is a dedicated volunteer at the North Highlands Nordic where she assists with the bunny rabbit program. She has also competed, completed the first level of the National Coach Community Coaching Program for Cross Country Skiing. In her free time, Precious enjoys training horses, gardening, and helping out on her family's organic farm. We wish Precious nothing but the best in the future. Congratulations, Precious. I would like to present the second Lieutenant Governor Medal to Eamon Dudley Chubbs. Eamon is a remarkable student and a devoted athlete. He maintains an honors average despite his very busy schedule. He is an avid cross-country skier who spends much of his free time skiing trails around his home during the winter. He is also a member of the Cabot running, soccer and wrestling teams. Eamon's love for wrestling has provided him with many opportunities to compete provincially, nationally and internationally. Eamon is a multi-time Provincial, Atlantic, and Eastern Canadian champion. He was the U-17 National Bronze Medalist in 2018, and he has been named Nova Scotia's Most Outstanding Wrestler by Wrestling Nova Scotia on six occasions. And he has been named Nova Scotia's Most Outstanding Wrestler by Nova Scotia Support for Sport in 2019 and 2020. We wish Eamon nothing but the best in the future. Congratulations, Eamon. It gives me great pleasure to introduce today's guest speaker. Born and raised in Glace Bay, Cape Breton, Ike Batten began teaching at Cabot Education Centre in 2013. 
Teaching a variety of courses from grades 7 through 12, Mr. Batten has left a profound impact on Cabot students. During his time at Cabot, he was an avid volunteer with Cabot's Robotic Club. In 2018, Ike and his two students competed at the World Robotics Championship in Detroit. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Mr. Batten. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to thank Heather for uh, inviting me back. I want to thank uh, you guys, the grads, because I know that Heather doesn't invite anybody to speak well, unless uh, you guys approve it first. So um, definitely is an honor to be here, uh, to be back. Uh, it's my first time back at Cabot since Great Day of last year. And if any of you uh, happened to run into me at Grading Day last year, um, you probably noticed that I was kind of a wreck. Um, and and I, it's kind of a new thing for me because I'm not that uh, uh, an emotional a guy. But one of the things that got me through that day and, and that I had in mind is that, okay, this won't be my last day because I'll be able to come and spend graduation with the 2020 grads uh, and, and see you guys at least one more time, which you know is the reason why I'm here today. Um, and then the whole pandemic thing happened and well, I, I really got a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to participate in today and I'm so happy and I think we're all pretty happy that we are all able to at least do something here where we can celebrate you guys and you know, honor your accomplishment because you really, uh, you're, this is a big accomplishment that I think deserves to be honored. Uh, so that's a long way of saying thank you for letting me speak. Uh, and, and now I have to figure out something to say, um, which is tough because I, I, you know, I, I kind of really wish I had some words of wisdom for you guys, but the problem is I was never all that wise. Uh, so I think rather than being some sort of uh, a wise guy, um, I'm going to try and take on the role of a cheerleader. So, um, you know, you guys are graduating and, and I think maybe I should give you some words of encouragement. So um, they're all things you're going to hear all this month or all for weeks and, and, and you know, all through the graduation process, but I'm going to say them anyway. You should be excited. You are leaving high school, you got a diploma, and you have the world at your fingertips. And you can do whatever you want. And I know you all have something planned for next year already, but those plans can change. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Go out there and take the world by the tail and do whatever you want. And maybe try to do some things that are different or scary. Because, and this is the second thing I'm going to say, you guys are going to be awesome at it. Okay, I was lucky enough to be your teacher for many years, and I got to know the class of 2020 pretty well. And one thing that I'll say is that every once in a while, you guys are going to be in an uncomfortable situation, and, and holy cow, you might fail epically, but I believe strongly, and I know that you guys are going to end up with more wins than losses. So go be awesome. And the third thing I'm going to say, and this is just basically the basic, the most basic you can get is uh, congratulations, because you uh, just made a monumental accomplishment. Okay, um, you've been through 12 or 13 years of school, and you know. I don't think you're going to have many accomplishments in your life that require that level of perseverance and hard work and dedication, but you did it and it's done and you should take a second to pat yourself on the back over it because I think it's a great accomplishment that we don't celebrate enough. You guys are awesome. Um, I don't know how much I have other than that, but, but let's just remember, right, go be awesome. Grab the world by the tail and 
remember uh, what you've accomplished here and maybe congratulate yourself a little bit for it because it's a big deal. Um, I want to thank you guys again for inviting me back here. Um, it was an honor to be part of Cabot for so many years and it was an honor to teach the class of 2020 among others. Um, and I want to say one last time congratulations to y'all and, and good luck with wherever you find yourself next year. Thank you. On behalf of the graduating class of 2020, we would like to thank Isaac Batten for coming today and sharing his words of wisdom with the 2020 class. And thank you so much from the bottom of their hearts. They're very privileged to have you here today. Please accept our gift of appreciation. <laughs> thank you, Ike. You're welcome, <laughs> Sophia Rose Asaf. <laughs> Sophia has received the Charlie Frazier Memorial Bursary in the amount of $300. Congratulations, Sophia. <laughs> Congratulations. Shane Patrick Barron. Shane received a Barb Costello Memorial Bursary for $50. Congratulations, Shane. Jenna Vaughn Buffett. Jenna has been awarded the Governor General Medal. This is awarded to the student who achieves the highest academic standing in the graduating class. She has been awarded the Niels Harbor New Haven Volunteer Fire Department Bursary valued at $100. The Niels Harbor Co-op Bursary valued at $250. RCMP Bursary valued at $250. The Reverend Mev Melvin Finley Award valued at $250. The Cabot Trail Lions Club Scholarship valued at $500. The Victoria Co-op Fisheries Scholarship valued at $1,000. The Katherine Anna Campbell Memorial Award valued at $2,500. And Cape Breton University Chanc Chancellor Scholarship valued at $30,000 for a grand total of $33,950. Congratulations, Jenna. <laughs> Congratulations. Emily Kristen Burke. Emily received the Cabot Trail Lions Club Scholarship, valued at $200. East Coast Ropes Bursary, valued at $200. Cape Smoky Home and School Brother James Milne Bursary valued at $200. Cabot Student Council valued at $250. The Cape Breton Victoria Regional Center for Education Scholarship valued at $1,000. St. Mary's Santa Marian Scholarship valued at $20,000. And the St. Mary's University Entrance Scholarship valued at $28,000 for a grand total of $49,850. Congratulations, Emily. Abby Rose Dumphy. Abby has received the Barbara Costello Memorial Bursary valued at $50. And today is an extra special day. Uh, today is Abby's birthday, so congratulations, Abby. <laughs> Adrian David Fitzgerald.
Adrian received the St. Joseph CWL Dingwall Bursary valued at $100, the John John Fraser Memorial Bursary valued at $200, and the Scotiabank Bursary valued at $250 for a grand total of $550. Congratulations, Adrian. Emma Lee Fitzgerald. Emma has been awarded the St. Margaret CWL Bay St. Lawrence Bursary valued at $50, the Bay St. Lawrence Community Center Bursary $50, the Bay St. Lawrence Women's Fishnet Bursary $100, the North Victoria Community Center Bursary valued at $200, the Hannah McLeod UCW Bursary valued at $250, the Victoria County Municipal Bursary valued at $500. The P. Sands Bursary, valued at $500. Cape Breton University Resident Scholarship, valued at $4,300. The John Hugh Farrell Award, valued at $8,300. And the Cape Breton University Dean Scholarship, valued at $10,000. For a total of $24,250. Congratulations, Emma. William Kenneth Fitzgerald. Willie received the North Highlands Home and School Bursary valued at $100, the St. Joseph CWL Dingwall Bursary valued at $100, the David Rambo Memorial Bursary valued at $100, the John John Fraser Memorial Bursary valued at $200, and the Brandon McDonald Memorial Bursary valued at $250 for a grand total of $750. Congratulations, Willie. <laughs> Jeffrey Cole Gillis. Cole has received the John John Fraser Memorial Bursary valued at $200, the RCMP Bursary valued at $250, CUPE Local 5050 Bursary valued at $250, the Royal Cana Canadian Legion Branch 105 Inganish Bursary valued at $500, and the Clayton Oregon Memorial Bursary valued at $1,000 for a total of $2,200. Congratulations, Cole. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Brooke Logan Holly. Brooke received the Queen Elizabeth Medal. The Queen Elizabeth Medal goes to a grade 12 student that demonstrates superior academic achievement in grades 10, 11, and 12 maintaining an outstanding record in school and community involvement. She also received a $100 Cabot Staff Bursary. Congratulations, Brooke. valued at $50. Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> Shakira Lynn Holly. Shakira received the Joan Whitty Memorial Bursary valued at $100. The Inganish Volunteer Fire Department, valued at $100. Cabot Trail Lions Club Scholarship, valued at $200. Holly's Lawn Care in memory of Rita Holly, $200. And the RCMP Bursary, valued at $250, for a grand total of $850. Congratulations, Shakira.
down. Oh. Jordan Parker Hayden. Jordan has been awarded the Nicholas Smith Memorial Bursary, valued at $100. The David Rambo Memorial Bursary, also valued at $100, for a total of $200. Congratulations, Jordan. Alex Dawson Ingram. Alex received the Cape Smoky Elementary Bursary, valued at $100. The Neils Harbor New Haven Volunteer Fire Department, valued at $100. Highland Manor Bursary, valued at $100. Cabot Trail Lions Club Scholarship, valued at $100. The John John Fraser Memorial Bursary, valued at $200. The RCMP Bursary, valued at $250. And the Clayton Oregon Memorial Bursary valued at $1,000 for a grand total of $1,850. Congratulations, Alex. Drew Patrick LeBlanc. Drew received the Highland Manor Bursary, valued at $100. The John John Fraser Memorial Bursary, valued at $200. The St. Francis Xavier University Alumni Association Scholarship at $500. Royal Canadian Legion Branch 105 in Ganesh, $500. Nova Scotia Freeman Mason Scholarship at $600 and a St. Francis Xavier University Scholarship valued at $5,000 for a total of $6,900. Congratulations, Drew. Ethan Douglas Lillington. Ethan has received the Barb Costello Memorial Bursary valued at $50. Congratulations, Ethan. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Chelsea Colleen McKinnon. Chelsea has been awarded the St. Margaret CWL Bay St. Lawrence Bursary valued at $50, the Bay St. Lawrence Community Center Bursary valued at $50, the Bay St. Lawrence Women's Fishnet Bursary valued at $100, the Alexis McDonald Memorial Bursary valued at $100, the Bay St. Lawrence Credit Union Bursary valued at $100, the Ocean View Lodge Bursary valued at $100, the Meat Cove Development and Capsite Association bursary valued at $200, the Basin Lawrence Central Co-op bursary valued at $250, the Charlie Frazier Memorial bursary valued at $300, and the Basin Lawrence Harbor Authority bursary valued at $300 for a total of $1,550. Congratulations, Chelsea. Sarah Lorraine Morrison. Uh, nope. Sarah received a Barb Costello Memorial Bursary valued at $50. Congratulations, Sarah. Shakira Rose Marie Kendall Peck. Right 
Shakira received the John John Frazier Memorial Bursary valued at $200. Congratulations, Shakira. Joey Simone Rasmussen. Joey received the St. Peter's CWL bursary, valued at $200. The John John Fraser Memorial Bursary, valued at $200. And the Tanya Lee Pearson Memorial Bursary, valued at $200. For a total of $600. Congratulations. Morgan Thomas Scott. <laughs> Morgan has been awarded the Barb Costello Memorial Bursary of $50. Congratulations, Morgan. Christopher Donald Sims. Christopher received the K Smokey Elementary Bursary valued at $100. The Victoria the Lakes Bursary valued at $200. K Smokey Home and School Brother James Milne Bursary valued at $200. Nova Scotia Teachers Union Bursary valued at $400. Public School Administrators Association of Nova Scotia Bursary valued at $500 and the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 105 in Ganesh, valued at $500, for a total of $1,900. Congratulations, Christopher. <laughs> Samantha Jolene Smith. Samantha has received the Highland Manor Bursary valued at $100, the Nicholas Smith Memorial Bursary valued at $100, the Niels Harbor New Haven Volunteer Fire Department Bursary valued at $100, PC Victoria the Lakes Bursary valued at $150, and the Cape Smoky Home and School James Brother Milne Bursary valued at $200 for a total of $650. Congratulations, Sam. Molly Marie Yusufer. Molly received the St. Joseph CWL Dingwall Bursary valued at $100. The John John Fraser Memorial Bursary valued at $200. The North Victoria Community Center Bursary valued at $200. The Niels Harbor Co-op Bursary valued at $250. The Crabbit Trail Lions Club Bursary, valued at $300. The Lindsay Rogers Memorial Bursary, valued at $500. The Jim Wilkie Memorial Bursary, valued at $500. The Nova Scotia Fisherman's Scholarship, St. Mark's Lodge, number 35, valued at $600. And the Cape Breton University President's Scholarship, valued at $20,000 for a total of $22,650. Congratulations, Molly. <laughs> Lyndon Rory Wall. Lyndon has been awarded the Bay St. Lawrence Community Center Bursary of $50, the St. Margaret CWL Bay St. Lawrence $50, the Bay St. Lawrence Credit Union $100, the Huey J. McDonald Memorial Bursary $100, the Bay St. Lawrence Women's Fishnet $100, and also the John John 
Frazier Memorial Bursary of $200 for a total of $600. Congratulations, Lyndon. <laughs> Gavin Pierce Whitty. Gavin has been awarded the Bay St. Lawrence Community Center Bursary, valued at $50. The St. Margaret CWL Bay St. Lawrence Bursary, valued at $50. The Bay St. Lawrence Women's Fishnet Bursary, valued at $100. The Highland Manor Bursary, valued at $100. The John John Fraser Memorial Bursary, valued at $200. An RCMP Bursary, valued at $250. And the Bay St. Lawrence Fire Department Bursary, valued at $500 for a total of $1,350. Congratulations, Gavin. Madeline Rose Whitty. Madeline received the Wilson and Barbara Donovan Memorial Bursary, valued at $200. Scotiabank Bursary, valued at $250. The RCMP Bursary, valued at $250. Dinganish Volunteer Fire Department, valued at $300. Cabot Trail Lions Club Scholarship, valued at $300. The Royal Canadian Legion Branch 105 in Ganesh, valued at $500. Highland Farm of Choice Bursary, valued at $1,000. Cape Breton University Residence Scholarship, valued at $4,300. And the Cape Breton University President Scholarship, valued at $20,000. For a grand total of $20, $27,100. Congratulations, Madeline. Ira George Williams. Ira received the Von Sams Memorial Bursary valued at $100. Congratulations, Ira. call upon Jenna Buffett to deliver the Valedictorian Victorian speech to the graduating class of 2020. Good afternoon everyone. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Um, I'm honored to be Cabot Education Center's valedictorian for the class of 2020. Although I'm sure many of us would like to put this year in rewind. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has helped us along our way. To our parents for your endless support and constant pushing to strive for success. To the staff and teachers of Cabot Education Center who have dedicated countless hours educating us and giving us skills so that we are prepared for this next chapter of our lives. It is this encouragement and inspiration that I thank not only my own family, but the families of all the graduates and everyone joining us in this accomplishment. I procrastinated writing this speech. <laughs> I feel that this action itself perfectly describes my reluctance to admit that high school is finally over. We've endured what no class has before. We were born, or most of us, were born in the tears of 9-11 and graduate in the midst of a pandemic. And while we're not able to physically come together and have the traditional ceremonies as we had hoped, it is our tight-knit community and understanding of what it means to be a Cabot student and member north of Smokey that unites us. Our class is a competitive class, an academic class, and one of the strongest classes to be graduating Cabot, in my opinion. The type of class I don't think Cabot will see for a long time. We've all spent this time together and had very different experiences. Some will reminisce high school and picture the bonds that were created over free classes and school afternoons spent with friends. Others will remember sports played and awards won. But I want the graduating class to remember that all we have accomplished during this time is not lessened by what is happening right now, 
and to not let it overshadow the proudness of all our achievements. As we celebrate our graduation, I feel that it is not just about high school, but the, about the last 18 years of our lives. I look around and I see future fishermen, law enforcement, mechanics, and nurses. I'm sure when our parents held us for the first time, they wondered what we would be. They guided us ever so slowly, letting go of our hands until now, passing the power of decision over to us. Now it's our turn. However, I'm overcome with a certain sadness when thinking of all our lasts that were forgotten and rites of passage missed. This feeling is justified for the graduating class of 2020. Although it is easy to focus on the should haves and what ifs of high school, instead, please remember the lessons learned. These lessons not being found between the pages of your book or in the walls of Cabot, but the life lessons that we learned here, like hard work and respect. These are the lessons that built this character. So, when you leave here today, celebrate what you have accomplished, but continue to work towards the change you'd like to see in the future. And I'm sure, with hopefully a little hard work and a little good luck on our sides, maybe, we can achieve everything that we had hoped. Congratulations, Class 2020. <laughs>